Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Maria and I just want to make a short video about courses you should take in university slash college if you want to become a marine biologist. First off, I have to do one of those annoying disclaimers. This is all based on my personal experiences and the experiences of people around me. Also, different universities, different cities, different countries have different opportunities, so you will have to adapt what I am saying to your own circumstances. Without any further ado, let's start. I did my bachelor in biology, just general biology, and my first two years in university were very general. I had courses like physics, chemistry, biology, molecular biology, all kinds of courses in all in many different fields of science. And back then I really did not like it. I remember complaining with my colleagues all the time, why the hell do I have to learn this chemistry? Why the hell do I have to know where this atom goes, where that electron goes and the other one goes? I don't care. The truth is, you don't know if you will never need it. I am using now tools that I learned during my bachelor that I thought I would never need. Chemistry being one of them, and, bio and biochemistry, biogeochemistry. These are all, all fields that when I had to study them back in my bachelor, I was like, what? Yeah, so first couple of years, I would uh, say, broaden your horizons, look into more general bio biological or other sciences topics. You will have plenty of time during the third year and your masters to really dive deep into the subject that you are interested in. So I think it's really important to first establish a good background knowledge in science in general, like biology, ecology, plant ecology, plant biology, chemistry, biochemistry, physics, and very, very important, statistics and bioinformatics. Pretty much in any field in biology, you will need to use statistics, um, and I do not think there is any way of escaping it. It will help you very, very much in the future if you start learning the basics of statistics immediately when you start your bachelor. Additionally, bioinformatics or having a kind of an idea of how any programming language works is also for sure a benefit for you. You will probably need it, especially if you start working with molecular tools and phylogeny and taxonomy. You will probably need to work with some kind of programming language or statistical programs. So what I recommend as people is that in the first two years you have a more broader view of biology. Once you reach your third year, I would say that um, then you can already really start specializing. And of course, in your masters, then you should already kind of have a better idea of what you really want. Then when you start your masters, it's all up to you. I cannot really help you there because the masters then starts really becoming where you start specializing in what you want. Even though I would still say that the masters, even no matter what you do, after your masters, you still have flexibility into changing to another field. For instance, I did my master's in marine birds and I am currently doing my PhD in marine bacteria. They are both marine, yay, but they are completely different fields and the methodology necessary to study one is completely different from what I need to study the other one. Say, try to choose a master's that you think is already the path you want to go afterwards. But even if you realize this maybe is not the what you want, don't panic, it's totally fine. And what is really then important ultimately when you enter or start a PhD, if you have or not publications and if you have or not already worked in any kind of research group because it will also tell them that you've already worked in a research group, you know what it means to work in a research group. Even if the research group has nothing to do with the field of the research group you're now applying to, it still shows that you're a dynamic and someone that you're a dynamic person and that you are someone who takes and has initiative and that is sometimes much more important than the courses that you took in your first and your second year of your bachelor. Just look at statistics, just just do it. Okay, it will be, it will make your life so much easier in the future. So much, so much easier. I think uh, that's it. And 
We are now two, uh, more than 2,000 people on the channel and I'm really happy and thank you guys so much for the ma amazing support that you have shown me throughout this whole process of me doing YouTube kind of thing. <laughs> what? And to celebrate, I plan on doing a Q&A. I would really ask you that if there's something you want to know about me or about my work or about science, then just write it in the comments and or my Twitter. I will put it somewhere around here. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See you. Bye-bye.